Okay, so we both have survived the aftermath of the tournament that shall not be named. You act like it was the worst thing in the world. I'm just kidding. So anyways, we're back today with um, a review of a ball. I threw a lot at the Lucy. I actually threw the gold label like five out of the seven games, I would say. I love uh, what I see so far out of it, but we're going to talk more about it uh, once we start this little two-game Baker game. Oh, we're we going to Baker? Yeah. Okay. Two games to show off the ball. We're going to shoot 600 for two. Yeah. That's uh, that's doable. See, this is, I'm like the whole, like the glass is like overfilling and Nate's like, it's dry. No, in no, the it's, it's filled. No, just yeah, not it's only filled because of me. Not just not overfilling that it makes a mess. Yeah, mine is like overfilling. It's making the biggest mess ever. And Nate's is literally like, there's a hole at the bottom no. that you pour it into and everything drains out. Stop it. Also, we are not just bowling on a typical house right now. We are bowling on 44-foot London pattern. Yeah, so what you're going to see from me is honestly playing the lanes a little bit tighter because typically I wouldn't be throwing this ball. Um, right, They're still pretty fresh. I wouldn't be throwing this on the fresh, but it's still going through the pins for me um, in our little bit of practice. So you're going to see a little bit tighter angle, which you're going to be able to see how the ball is able to store energy through the oil um, and still get through the pins for me. Yeah. Okay, I actually like tugged that in a little bit, but I I actually thought that was going to 10 pin and it got there. Yeah, it drove through it. Through, oh. Drove through the fence. So, yeah. Update, I do want to apologize to everyone. I did not bowl the Pro-Am at the Lucy. Um, I got done bowling. My foot was on fire. Um, I don't know if it was a mixture of I was on my foot all day and then we didn't bowl till later. I have no idea, but I could barely walk on my foot, so Nate had to... Well, the I whole took program, care of it. I, yeah, he took care of it. I shot three under game three. We're good. I feel really bad. I was literally like sitting in the car, and then ended up having to go back to the hotel, and he had to get a ride home. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry. I missed everyone at the pro at the Lucy. You can see why I like this ball so much. All it does is strike. I know why. Because it wow. matches your shirt. Yes, it does. Purple. We got purple on purple on black. All right. Well, okay. My feet were literally. I might as well have been walking on turtles. <laughs> Play. Oh, hook, 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 hook. Bang. That was good. That was real good. <laughs> See, this is this is the Nate I get. I don't know what it is today. Well, the fact that I've been dealing with unsettling food, and I've, me and the toilet have been best friends as of the last two days. I don't know, I'm just not feeling, not feeling like my normal self. He's waiting to save it all for Asheville. Yes, I need it. I, I just, I just saw that we've actually been to that bowling center and I've actually bowled really well in that bowling center. And we bowled on the same pattern last year in that bowling center. So it should be good. Fingers crossed and knock on wood. Okay. This is something I am proud of in my bowling career is I'm almost officially finishing off and do you see that? Yeah, she An has entire used, rosin bag. She I've has had used it. this rosin bag everywhere she's gone. It's not about the fact that I've used it, it's the fact that I haven't lost it. Yeah. Because I normally like leave my rosin bag everywhere I go. Okay, that one he definitely rolled. I must have really rolled that one. Yeah, you did. You really rolled that one. So that's like 
kind of what I see in this ball. It's super, super forward at the end of the pattern. It really, it does need that friction at the end of the pattern. So when you're rolling on more oil like this, did, you have to, to be, be fair. I did move. I did move uh, one and zero, oh, but I thought it would pick up. <laughs> yeah, you just really rolled it. You d it's just there's not that built-in friction at the end of the pattern right now, so you have to be a little bit more careful with your hand. Save the best for last. Me. Yeah. Hold me up. You can't do that. That wasn't even fair. I just had to you wait 30 minutes. Right. The chances this of making this are actually pretty high. Come back from a really bad shot. Oh, you tug Bounce it even more. That's how you do it. All right. So basically, if you throw the ball like you have any common sense, the ball strikes. But when you throw it when like a turd donkey. Come, when two people come together and throw the worst shots of the game. Yeah. That happens. Yeah, well, I also got ice for literally 20 minutes in between the ninth and 10th frame. The stuff you don't see on camera. Nate likes to do this to me every time I'm bowling a 10th oh, frame. Stop it. He likes to... We just had amazing support from yeah. our subscribers come in and say hello to us and talk about the Chiefs and all that good stuff. Yeah, so it's okay. We'll, we'll make I'll let it slide that. this time. Okay. So maybe I moved just a little too much. <laughs> All right, so let's talk Zen goal label a little bit. Obviously, it has the same core found in all the Zens, um, but we have a much cleaner cover with the batch number 801 blend pearl cover. So, so what you're going to see out of this one compared to the original Zen, much cleaner, much more responsive to the friction. As you saw when I missed and I washed out earlier, that is because obviously the cover stock is a lot weaker. So it shot through that mound of oil where you're starting to see like a little clip in the middle of the lane. But the previous shots, when you saw it get to the friction, it responded a lot harder. So for me, I'm really going to like this ball. I need a bigger staple from a pearl, pearl symmetrical, to come out of my bag like right after the phase twos or exponents uh, to really open up the lane and give me something um, that I could trust to the right and it'll come back. Why I'm still throwing it a little hard today. I might just have to use some surface to kind of slow it down because it's not slowing down in the right spot. Um, obviously, it's a fresher pattern, but yeah, I might just have to use some surface today and uh, not rely on my speed right now. Ooh, I actually rolled that a little bit. Hey, way to hold me up. up and got through it. Way to hold me up. All right, what, would you, what are we doing on All it? All right, so we got a light little 2000. Just brush it up, get the shine off of it. Beautiful. Shove. We'll go through it. Great spare out there. <laughs> Great spare. All right, so the last one looked pretty good. We're gonna try to do the same thing, or a little bit better. That was pretty decent. Okay. Pretty good, but now you're seeing it start to pick up because of that surface. I actually threw it how I wanted to throw it. Came off my hand really nice. Still working on some things with like my track and stuff like that, but. For the most part, that's exactly what I want to see. Now I can make, you know, a lateral move left and be good. You know what I think you should have done? What's that? I think I know what you could do what? to make a hook more. Hook more? Yeah. I don't think I need to hook more now. No. What, what do I need? I could soak it. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. was better. I moved two and one left because even though I tugged it a little bit last one, I definitely saw it pick up earlier. So that's a two and one. Yeah. Beautifully executed. 
I stuck so bad. Safe. I stuck so bad. And dead yanked it over my foot, but that's why we're blowing up 44 feet. Beautiful. Give it the good yanker. Give it the good yanker. Curl cover stock made me look great. Zen made me look great. All right, I'm going to strike out to win the U.S. Open, okay? There's one. one. Shimmy. All right. I got slow. Well, second place isn't too bad. It's horrible. <laughs> you didn't get that on film. So what are your thoughts? My thoughts is that I thought you were filming me, and you were, and I struck. Well, people know that you strike. No, so do don't. I really have to film every strike yes. you throw? I need them documented. <laughs> I need them for proof when people tell me that I'm not a good bowler. The one time I strike each tournament, <laughs> they need to see on Instagram. Okay, so what are your thoughts? My thoughts are that when I decide to throw it like a good bowler, yeah. the ball strikes every time. Absolutely. Like, not even joking, even at the Lucy. Yeah. Every time I threw it halfway like a like a good bowler does, my ball struck. Yep. Um, or left like a light 10, which is fine. That happens in bowling. Yep. Um, but it got nine or better. Right. Um, Came all the way back from Fort Worth. Yeah, I know. So I do like this ball if I need a cleaner option to trap it. Um, that's not going to be too early, which yep. was my problem with the Zen series before. I'll be honest. I, I didn't use the Zens a lot because they were a little bit too early for me. So for me personally, this piece in our bag is going to be something I can use more because I get trapped into cleaner stuff quicker just because of my rev rate, um, my roll and being slower and the way I play the lanes, especially on the women's store, it'll be nice to have this piece in between, you know, when I'm throwing my emeralds yeah. and, um, stuff else? above the emerald. Yeah. Like, some, like yeah. When, before like I have below, to get like your dark codes, X2s, yeah, like, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like I would always get kind of stuck in that transition between, you know, the dark code and have to go straight to my emerald or like a hustle wine and move back right, you know? Yeah. So this is gonna be that bigger piece for me that, um, especially if I am blowing on more oil like this and I see my ball picking up too early with like a solid, I could see myself doing what I'm doing now where I'm kind of just trapping it and getting it where it's still gonna uh, pick up through the oil and save the energy and still get through the pocket for me. Yeah. Um, if I throw it if like you throw a good, good. Roller. Yeah. Right. We're working on that one. We are. We you are. know, the ball, just remember, the ball cannot fix the bowler. No. But if you can fix the bowler, the ball will fix your scores. That is Put true. that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I don't need to say anything else. We're done here. Yeah.